guess I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Okay. Wrong with you now? I'm sorry. They send you or something? Which I'm what sorry. kind of problem is this? Oh my yeah, goodness! Am I supposed to see something else now to wear? Sorry. How can you just be driving anyhow on, the, on this road like that? Oh God! And I'm I'm, I'm even supposed to be a, be going for an interview now. Where where will I send that water to wash my 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 my, my clothes? No, even what kind of problem is this? even if you clean up, you can't go to an interview looking like this. Okay, not to worry. I, I think I have an idea of what we we'll do. Um, sorry, could you please come this way? Yeah, just come. I don't know. I was actually taking this to a friend of mine who's doing for a brunch. But I have four of them, so you can just use this, please. No, don't worry. I'll just look for where to clean up. No, just... no, no. There's just no way you're going to salvage this situation. Okay, you can have this. You can wear this to an interview. Trust me. Okay? Please. Thank you. Thank you. Just have to pick me for where to change. Yeah, you can just change. So sorry. Mm. You don't seem to be the brightest of them. No work experience as a secretary. I'm a first in sir. Do you know what it entails to work with me? You double as my personal assistant. Your time becomes mine. You'll be available whenever I need you, even if it's 2 a.m. in the morning. No time wasting on tasks. I can't do it, sir. You'll go wherever I go, except you're not working. It won't work if you're lazy. I'm not lazy, sir. I can't do it. You're not the only applicant. I have other interviews to conduct. I've always handpicked my secretary. You may leave. If you get the job, you get a message. Thank you, sir. Hold. That's a nice suit. Where'd you get it from? This suit? Um, no. Your CV. Of course, I'm talking about the suit, dummy. Um, I actually, it was... <sighs> you may leave. You're boring me. Please, get out. Come back here. Who's that? Who is the designer? Um, she... She's actually... Is she? Yes. The designer is a lady, sir. Can I have a number? Of course. What are you doing? Time to score a goal, dude. You better use this opportunity. What? Um, I, w I was thinking, sir. How about I arrange a meeting for you and her? Like, since I'm going to be your personal assistant. It's part of my job, right? <laughs> Are you being serious right now? Sir, you, you said a few minutes ago that I don't have any job experience. How about if consider this as my job experience? I'll bring her to your office. Very well then. If you can arrange a meeting, then that will be a start. I might just consider taking you in as my secretary. Really? Is that all? That's easy. I can do it. Definitely. Get out. All right, sir. So 
So then the next person. Such an arrogant, self-conceited, spoiled, little rich man. If you're done with your interview, can you kindly leave? This place is our office, you're making noise. Okay. get some food in there, you know, but as usual, you didn't cook. What are you doing here? <laughs> you mean, what am I doing in my brother's house? <sighs> What's up? Jessica says she's not been able to reach you. You're not answering your calls. I've been busy with work. What's going on? Nothing much, just minding the business that pays me. Wait, you're still mad at her? Oh, come on. This girl has been apologizing for weeks. And I made it very clear to her that I am no longer interested. After two years? People break up after seven years, brother. It's not a big deal. Oh, come on, bro. Just hear her out. Don't be heartless, okay? <laughs> it's how you guys are making me look like the villain here. This girl broke my heart. She cheated on me for goodness sake. Are you listening to me? Oh, come on. Everybody cheats, okay? I wouldn't catch Biolo show. You know, right? Please. Listen, bro. I am not saying that you should ignore the fact that she did you wrong, okay? All I'm asking is for you to listen to what she has to say. I mean, maybe she can stop calling me over the phone or, you know, coming to my house as if I owe her money. See, just shall hear her out, okay? <sighs> well, I just uh, thought I should stop by and know how my brother is doing. And I can see you're doing very good. But listen, you got to do what you got to do. But you have to handle everything with maturity. All right? You're my brother. And Jessica has been my friend for a while now. I kind of feel guilty about everything. Ah, <sighs> uh, I have to go now. Ah, make sure you get a chef or you get a wife, okay? Come on, it's rude for me to come over here and I don't get food to eat. How about you stay in your house next oh, time? Come on, stop there. Mm -hmm. right, I'll call you, all right?
Hello? It's me, Greg. The mod guy. I am I brought your suit. I'm standing in front of your place. Okay, alright. Ah, you're welcome. I was working on something when you called. Please have a seat. Um, hope you don't mind. I use the address on the card. No, that's okay. I I use a part of my house as my showroom. But I would appreciate you call next time before calling. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yes, suit. Thank you. I hope it served you well. Sure, it actually saved me. Oh. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, that's all right. If it hadn't been for me, you wouldn't have had your suit so it's, so it's okay. Thank you still. At least you made me feel very special and important that day. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's okay. So, did you get the job? Um, that's actually why I'm here. Oh, okay. Um, my boss liked the suit you lent me and he actually wants something special like that. He wants really? To make something special like that. Oh, who is your boss? Um, Mr. Edwin of um, New Generation Company. New generation company, yeah. I think I've, I've heard of them, but I've never met their boss. So he wants me to make an outfit for him? Yes. Well, that's okay. I mean, he's super lucky the slot for the year and a few of so it's good. Oh, thank God. Yeah. So I can arrange for a meeting for both of you to meet? Yeah, sure. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a win-win for us. And also, if you want me to make an outfit for you, I'm here. Uh, I can't afford your kind of outfits. <laughs> All right, um, I wish you the best. So, can I just show you around my show? Oh, okay. All right, yeah. you here? Well, your brother said something about you not eating, so I decided to bring you breakfast. Get out of my house. Edwin, are you going to be like this with me forever? Jessica, I am not in the mood. Neither do I have the time for this. Take your food and get out of my house. Eddie, I just want us to talk. And there's nothing to talk about. It's over, Jessica. We have nothing left to talk about. Babe, you mean you're going to end things with me like this? It has already ended. Have some self-respect and never show your face here again. <laughs> What kind of problem? 
problem is this? Is it by force to be in a relationship? You think I'm going to give up on us like this, Eddie? Never! I would not! I would not give up! Babe, please, please, no! Eddie, please! Sexy. Oh, I'm serious, like, sexy. Oh, I made I, food. Food is ready already. No, 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 no. I can't eat. I'm already running late. The appointment is supposed to be for nine. But well, the food won't eat itself. Okay, just put mine in the microwave. I'll heat it up and eat when I get back. Right? Oh, uh, will you be here when I get back? Uh, no, no. I have an appointment later in the day. Today. Oh, already? Right. You have your keys. Hey, Lisa. Yeah? You look beautiful. Thank you. I need a suit for an important occasion. Money is not an issue. And it's something unique and customized to my taste. Hmm? Yes, your PA told me that. But I'm sorry I don't have any more slugs left for you. I beg your pardon. What you said? Yeah, I know what I said, Greg. And I'm really sorry. I thought I had slugs left. My mistake. I'm really sorry. What is this? I just said money is not a problem. Thank you for your generosity, but I am not your neighbor hotel. I have clients globally, and I painstakingly take my time to draft my designs to suit your taste. I'm sorry to slot that field. Please, ma, is there no way you can fix him in his slot? There's no way I can fix him in his slot. I'm really sorry, but I have to go. What is that your stupid name? Gregory, right? You're fired. But I don't even have the job yet. Okay. Very good. Now, pretend you had the job, and now you're fired. I do not want to see you anywhere near this building. Are we clear? Yes, sir. But please, sir. But what? You're supposed to double as my personal assistant. If you cannot execute something as simple as arranging a meeting, then what is your usefulness in life? She was going to... She was going to do what? You brought her here to insult me? Is that what you did? No, sir. Please, sir. Get out. I really need this job. Get sir, out. Out! No one. Come back. I do not want you to go out there and spread my name, telling people that I am the devil. So I am going to give you a second chance. Thank you, sir. Now, let's start with who the hell does that lady think she is and why she thinks she can walk into my office and insult me in that manner? Um, she... She what? She... Talk! Talk in five, four, three, two, one. For me at least, my job depends on this. I really wish I could, but I can't. I don't want to have anything to do with that bully. Bully? Look, ma'am, I know you can be an arrogant jerk. Please, 
Help me out on this. Call me Lisa, okay? My name is Lisa. And I believe I'm not older than you are. And I really don't care for honorifics. I need this job. I grew up with my grandma after I lost my parents in a house fire. She's old now and I need to make money to take care of her. I understand your plight, but I can't. If he refuses to give you the job, maybe I'll just help you look around. He's not that bad, and the pay is also very good. He's not that bad? You told Forget me- Forget about what I said. Please help me, I need this job. I need this job, please. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you. Have a nice day. Now, Baby, what kind of please, evil I'm spirit sorry, is this? Please, I'm begging you. Are you stalking me? What are you doing here? Me, please, I'm sorry. Please, I beg you. Please, I'm sorry, Edwin. Babe, babe, babe. No way, there's no way I'm spending please, my evening like this. Baby, please, I'm Open sorry. Open the gate. Edwin, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> babe, I'm sorry. Please. Edwin, please. Edwin! Edwin! Sorry! Edwin, please, I'm sorry! Edwin, please, I'm begging you! Edwin, please! Cynthia. Cynthia. Mom. Yes, ma'am. Has Chidi collected his claim? Yes, ma'am. So this wife called that she was going to pick her husband's claim. Did she come? No, she picked her already. Oh, okay. All right, Mike, I'm going to continue with your dream. Hello? Hey, Cynthia. Yeah. How are you? Hey! Hey, what's up? How are you? I'm good, though. You? Yeah, I'm good. I brought food. Thank God, like you. I'm starving. Yeah. What did you buy? Okay, so that's jollof rice, mm. fruit salad, and there's chicken there. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you bought one plate. You don't want it. No, I have mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Looks good there. Eh? I just bring things in. Yeah, that, these people are really good. So, how was your day? It was okay. Mm. Nice. Just okay. Are you sure? How did the deal go? <laughs> there was no deal. But you went out for a deal? Yeah, but there was no one. Okay, and you're sure you're happy? I'm not hungry, me, I'm very hungry, okay? <sighs> so, I hope you brought me good news. I have a home address. 
her home address. Um, I mean her office address. A part of her home serves at her office too. And what am I supposed to do with that information? Um, because she want to buy a suit, the lady Lisa was just being rude and disrespectful for no reason. Okay, you're not making any sense right now. I thought she wants to get back at her. So what better way to put her in her place than to make her bend eventually? Like you said the other day, who the hell does she think she is? Well, if you are here to observe and judge my home, I'll have to go have my bath and go to bed. Do you know your way out? Why don't you want to design an outfit for me? Well, I already told you. I don't want to. And I think you've overstayed your visit. You need to leave. Did I do something wrong? Why so dismissive? Why so arrogant and rude? Well, like they say, a leopard never changes its spot. And what does that mean? It means get out. Well, I guess it was a mistake coming here. Of course it was. What did I? What's going on? I hope I'm not in the No, you're not. They were just about leaving. Miss. Oh, one more thing. You don't need a suit to give this young man a job if he is qualified for it. You need to stop acting like a demigod. Everything shouldn't be about you. Okay, what was that about? Are those your clients? No, they are not. Okay, so what's going on? Who are they? Nobody important. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the young one is cool, but that one, I don't know. Okay, you were dating him or you are dating him? What? Dating who? Oh, please, I had a long day today. Okay, I was actually thinking of taking you out. Taking me out to where? No, I can't do that. I'm just too tired, okay? I just want to go have my bath and go to bed, please. Alisa! Why is she sounding like I took her hot dog or something? Have we met before? No. No, I don't think so. I don't remember her. Why is she such a brat, though? <laughs> What's the big deal in making me a suit? I can't believe he doesn't remember me. 
did I really change that much? How can he even say he doesn't remember me? Was I invincible? Or does him just trying to be and doing as always? to suit. Hmm? So how does it feel now? How does it feel to be on the receiving end? you have something for me? Yes, ma'am. Where's this from? From Mr. Edwin. Thank you. Yeah. He has not resorted to sending me gifts. <sighs> this guy will never change. What's with the gifts? What's all this? Why? Why does everything just feel like the world revolves around him? Find in this document, mail them to the client and copy me. Okay, so I'm sorry, ma'am. We can't see him if we don't have an appointment. Well, I don't care. I need to see him now. Let me go and find out what's going on. Do you know what? I don't even have time for this. You see this? Make sure you hand it over to him. I'm sure he'll get the message. Ma! Oh. I see you got the job, huh? Um, I can explain. Explain what? That you and your boss keep pestering my life? Is that what you want to explain? It's not what you think. It's actually a nice gesture. You know my boss, he can be very generous. <sighs> Some things really never change. Now listen. Tell him that I said I don't want to see him anywhere near my house. He should leave me alone. Else! Come on, Lisa. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll tell you this.
Sir. Why does she look familiar though? Oh, uh, well, I'm forced to believe she sort of have a grudge against you. She said something about some things never change. She did, huh? Yes, sir. Fascinating, isn't it? Or maybe we should find another designer. I mean, the lady seemed like she's never going to agree. If she has a grudge, I want to know what it is. Maybe you should ask her. <sighs> she's hurting my pride by refusing to make me a suit. There are other designers out there. I want her. But she doesn't want you. Sorry, sir. I'd like to see her crack. Let's see how far we can push. Yes, sir. What a brat. His nickname should be Mr. Arrogant. Give that to Clara and have the car ready. I have a meeting to attend. Okay, sir. The guy is arrogant, self-conceited, an ugly bully. He's someone who feels money is everything. Ah. Uh, wait, does this guy know you have such fine words you used to qualify him? Who cares? When I saw him, I so much wanted to smack him in the face. Wait, hold on. Whoa. What has this guy done that you want to be violent? <laughs> We attended the same secondary school. So, back then, I used to wear these nerdy glasses. Not like now that sometimes I use lenses and glasses occasionally. So, Edwin and his friends, they just like to pick on people. And it was rumored in school back then that Edwin just likes to pick on people for fun. He called it his um, fun project. So back in school, I was Edwin's fun project. Wait, really? Yes. That's absurd. <laughs> you don't want to know. This guy calls me all sorts of names. Blind bats, um, blind batimures, four-eyed girl, granny's eye. It was horrible. Wait, but you're pretty. Uh, Obina, you will not say this. If you had seen me then, trust me. You know these kind of glasses, those very thick lenses? The type they call cocoa, cocoa bottle. bottle. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That was what my dad bought for. I didn't even know. Like in my head, I'm like, what was he thinking when he bought me those glasses? So that was why they called me or that. But Wow. <laughs> so, so wait, the guy can't recognize you now. Mm, it's not surprising. Like, I'm not surprised. Because then I, I was like an outcast. Yes, nobody really liked me, only the teachers. And I think I had just one friend. Yes, it was this girl I had, then that's a friend. Wow. Now, let me tell you what happened. So this thing kept going on and on and on. And then one day, I had someone courage and I said I was going to fight him back. When I tried, guess what happened? Evan put his leg out and I tripped. Oh, I fell in I front think... of the whole class, Obina. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I felt like dying that day because when I fell, my dress bunched up. I was humiliated. Wow. Honestly, I ran to the toilet and I stayed there throughout the day. Nice. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing you decided you would not make suits for him. Now that I think of it, that guy is very lucky that I didn't know all this the day he, he came and I saw him. If not, you see this? <laughs> you know, landed it on his face like... <laughs> you know me now. Well, I think it's, I was an invincible kid back then. Yes. Nobody noticed me. People only... Like, saw me when it was time to bully someone. Oh, but I see you now. I see you. And if I was in your class back then, I would have protected you from those scums. Why are you being sweet now? Am I? 
<laughs> well, anyways, of course, I know you would have protected me. Oh my, thinking about this same thing is actually not nice because I lost my self-confidence. You know, when someone messes up with your self-esteem, I had to even beg my dad to take me out of that school. It was that bad. It was really that bad because it kept going on and on and on. And at some point, I'm like, God, I can't really take this anymore. I had to talk to my dad and he took me out of the school. Well, life happens and here we are today. Are you... Are you sweaty with the whole AC in here? <laughs> My story, no. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> but. Well. Why is she calling me? Let's go. Am I taking you home, sir? No. Follow I'm me. All right, sir. I'm, I'm outside the gate. I've been knocking and nobody's responding. Edwin is not picking his calls either. Yes, please. I'm outside. Alright. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming, Jay. It's okay. You know, I used to have the spare key to this house, but not until the whole thing happened and he collected it back from me. Jay, you know I'm not this type of girl. I mean, I don't even know what came over me. This guy in question is not even anything close to Edwin. He's not even worth it. I regret ever having anything to do with him. I regret every single thing. I don't even know how I'm supposed to lose a guy like Edwin simply because of that, 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 that guy. Oh, he's back. Listen, just calm down, okay? Don't worry. Relax. Relax. Okay. Hi, bro. Hey, Welcome Let me see you upstairs. Edwin. Edwin. Why would you do that? Just speak to her. I have nothing to say to her. Oh, come on. She's my friend. I've known her since uni days. What do you want me to do? Stay away from it. Okay? I ended things with that. I do not need you to interfere. I know you can be quite arrogant and stubborn. Right now is not the time for that speech. It was her fault. Look, I have a lot of respect for you, man. But this has nothing to do with you. Edwin. Edwin! Edwin, come back here. Did you drive? No, I used an Uber. Babe, you know it's late already and... Your area is not so safe. Please, can I pass the night here? Why are you asking me? As if that wasn't your plan in the first place. 
always so dramatic. Use the guest room and be gone by morning. Hello, I know you think that I'm crazy. But there is something about you, girl, where they're just so amazing. Yeah, you've got a special something where they make me lose my mind. I want to know what I can do to make you mine. Mine. Hello, can't you see in the funny? In the funny. Now I'm trapped in your web, oh girl, every night, every morning, every evening. Yeah. Too. Got that special something where they make me lose my mind. I wanna know what I can do to make you mine. My baby, please come closer, 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 closer. closer. I just wanna know. I just wanna know. I just wanna know. Baby, baby, please come closer, 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 closer. Like magic, you can't deny this feeling. Wow, so I added extra pepper. Hope you don't mind. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. What's so funny? And do you get to share? It's this guy. He's just it's something else. What guy? Do you know what he has been doing? Going to all my social media, liking and following. That's just <laughs> I don't know what to call this. This obsession of what? Take it. Should you go on? I'll join you. Come on, Lisa. What? Drop your phone. Let's eat. Yes, Dad. Then drop the phone. <laughs> You're funny. Why are you acting like my dad? Just eat. Well, I know you're just looking out for me. And I appreciate that. So I can't even touch my family. You're eating. Yeah. What? On the I'm eating too. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. How about the girl in your office? The one you said is crushing on you. I don't see her. Why? So you're trying to avoid her because you knew you like her. Be honest, I'm your friend. You like her? Eat your food. Why are you avoiding her? Eat your food. <laughs> I mean, that's how guys behave when they like someone. You just try to avoid the person. Mm. You should just tell her you like her. What's there? Let me see that one. Oh, this is really nice. How did she even get this? I think it's talent. Oh, oh, hi. Welcome. Good afternoon. Um, is Lisa in? Yeah. Greg. Well, Give me another here? one. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Um, I hope I didn't come at the wrong time. What is it? Adrian wants to stop, right? Please, my boss really wants to have business with you. I thought she already made it clear that she doesn't want him to give her gifts anymore. Or is it that no is quite hard for your boss? He actually put so much thought into these gifts. 
Um, she will like it. No, I, I think she Greg, it. I think you should leave. And please take that package with you. Thank you. Sorry for causing any trouble, but my, I... Okay. Um, So when are you going to tell him? Tell him what? To back off. I don't understand you, Bina. Bina, are you ever going to tell this guy that he was your bully in school and that you don't ever want to have anything to do with him? But I'm not even having anything to do with him. I told you, this is Adrian Bain Adrian. He's arrogant and he always gets what he wants. What's with you and this thing? So you're up for grabs, aren't you? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, please, Lisa, don't play dumb with me. We both know that this scene has gotten beyond him wanting you to sew a suit for him. This guy invades your privacy. He stalks you and he sends you gifts. What do you think he wants? Well, I don't know. Maybe of you should... course you don't know anything. What? Jeez. God, you don't know anything at all. I should go. He's... Thank you for letting me crash at your place last night. What is wrong with you, Bina? Lisa, it's not my business who you do business with and who you go on dates with, but I'm your best friend. And I'm, I just want what's good for you, okay? So forgive me for being too caring. Just making breakfast for us. I thought I asked you to be gone by morning. Babe, let me just finish with the breakfast. Then it's fine. Is the chair awake? some for you. I know you love chicken a lot. Especially the ones made by me. What is the nature of your problem? Babe, me? Yes, you. What part of we are over is hard for you to understand? But babe, I haven't done anything. Thank you for this. But do not forget to leave my house after tidying up that mess that you made in the kitchen. Babe. Are you that desperate? I thought you said you wanted to talk. Yes, of course, but after the breakfast. Oh, really? Maybe you should have started with the talking instead of trying to serve him more chicken and the lovey dovey attitude you're giving. But I haven't done anything wrong. Really? You haven't done anything wrong. All right. Clap for yourself. And congratulations. So you're leaving the food too? Not now, please. 
this. <sighs> Edwin, I'm sorry. Okay? I was wrong. I'm no cold-hearted guy. Any man in my shoes will do what I'm doing. That girl lied to me. She cheated on me with some, some guy. And it hurts. She broke my heart. Look, I'm sorry. Okay? I'll talk to her and I'll fix everything. Alright? Just take it easy. Listen, you don't have to give up, okay? But I need you to calm down. But I've been right? calm. Then you don't have to appear desperate, okay? You don't even know if he's trying to test your love. For yeah. two years. Two years. Just calm down. I say, I'll keep myself. Yeah, I'll keep myself. Yeah, no, 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 Do not have waiting for three days. Listen, you have to start. <laughs> Drama queen. Now, now, now listen to me. You have to stop crying. I want my mother. You have to stop crying, okay? <laughs> All of these things you're doing is even pissing him off. Right? The attitude you're displaying is irritating him, so you need to calm down. Then talk to him. I'll talk to him. But calm down. I'll get him. No talking behind my back. This is so rich. Yeah, that reminds me. Are you still going to travel to see your parents, like you said? Yes. And you know, I, I still can't understand why you decided to change your mind. <laughs> My mom will miss you. I know, I'll miss her too. I honestly wish I could go, but I have something to work on ASAP. Work? An unplanned one. What do you mean? The bully, Edwin. I finally decided to make him the suit. I finally got to you. But you mean you finally got to me? <sighs> I was just tired of the back and forth. It's just an outfit. He's pushy and arrogant. Well, I'm not looking for a husband. It's just a business relationship. A one-time thing like that. That you cancelled our trip for. I honestly wish I could make it. I just have to call your mom and explain things to her. I'm sure she will understand. But can't it wait? Like, can't you do the job for him after we return? Postpone business? No, we know you don't do that. I mean, there will always be plenty of holidays. But business, no. I'll talk to your mom, I'm sure she'll understand. I'm done and I'll have it delivered when it's ready. Have a drink with me. No, thank you. Why? I thought we're friends now. We're not friends. This is just business and you should watch your boundaries. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you a bit too rude to this client? I mean, are you always like this to your other clients? Are you like other clients? So that means I'm a special client. Do you ever get tired of bullying people? No. I'm, I'm joking, okay? I apologize. Let me walk you to your car. Thank you. I'll find my way. Um, 
Greg, see ya. Thank you. Bye, miss. Bye, ya. Wipe that stupid smile off your face. What are you doing there? And why are you still standing there? Don't you have a post and office? Okay, Sam. Sorry, Sam. Always acting clueless. Why is she not replying me? Hi. Edwin. Your special client. she feeling like no 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 I'm going to make her wait for my reply yeah
Please be sweet with me. Don't think I like this way, girl. Maybe I should look for something else. It's, it's the very street in this properly. Shall I just use it? Because my makeup is even kicking already. So why it looks so cute? Should I just change the hair? Because I'm not feeling it. What am I doing like this? Now look at my eye area. It's like I didn't even blend it. But hold on. Is it because of that idiot I'm doing all these things? Well, it's not because of him. I mean, I like to look good on a normal day. Yeah. I like to look good. Let me pick me that bag. I just, I just hope it's been nice. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. That's it. You look fabulous, boss. Perfect fit. It is. All right. I hope this is going to be a start to a fruitful relationship. I thought I warned you to stop stalking me. Hmm. Was I? I have to go. At least let's have lunch together sometime. I'm not trying to spark up a friendship here. This is a business relationship. And for lunch, I think I'll pass. Thanks, Dan. Fine. I'll go for lunch. But it's not a date. Yeah, of course. Just a form of appreciation. Is it nosy? What are you doing? Go, go find something to do. Something like what, sir? Anything. Mop the floor if you must. Uh, Miss, Miss Lisa is actually pretty and nice, don't you think? And you are about to lose your job, don't you think? I'll go check out some of I thought so. He's right. She's pretty, but very stubborn. And hardworking. Hey, what's up? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. How is your mom? My mom is fine. Uh, I really miss her. <laughs> but tell her I'll see her soon. Um, what's up with you? How is, um, how is it going with your new client? Uh, it's fine. I mean, Edwin likes his suits. Oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing he does. Hope you're good. Yes, I'm fine. And he invited me to come have lunch with him. And what did you say? Of course I said yes. Robin, are you there? Yes, um, 
I'm coming back today. I'll take the evening flight. Today? I thought you said we are spending the whole week. No, I am. Um, I have got some work to do at the office. Oh, all right. All right then, I'm dressed. I'm leaving the house now. Lisa, be safe. Okay, you too, buddy. Safe flight. Thank you for having lunch with me. What? Why are you shocked? You said thank you? Everyone says thank you to show gratitude. Well, you are not everyone. You are arrogant and domineering. Why do you speak as if you know me too well? That's because I do. Yeah. It's okay. I know what you mean and it doesn't surprise me. But thanks, all the same. How do you like the meal? It's delicious. So, why did you choose to become a designer? Why did you leave Greg in the car? I mean, he's not your driver as well as your secretary, right? He does everything for me. He's supposed to be my driver, but I enjoy driving myself. It's not like it's a big deal to drive yourself. I mean, it's not a long distance, is it? I'm the boss. It's arrogant. So what'd you say? Nothing. There's this guy that I see around you. You guys are pretty close, huh? I mean, has been my best friend from university days. Best friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Nothing. It's just that a man and a woman being best friends is, is kind of. Uh, What's wrong with that? You think we're sleeping together? I didn't say that, but... You know, the fact that I agreed to have lunch with you doesn't give you the right to give your two cents about my private life. I do. You know what? Thank you for lunch. <clears throat> yep. That's very good. Oh, no. What are you doing? Please, please. Why? Why do you get angry easily? I mean, we're having a nice meal. Look, I didn't mean to upset you. Okay. I didn't mean to pry into your private life. I'm just trying to get to know you better, that's all. Well, my private life is private. And I know you well to know that you are faking to be nice to me. And your apologies are fake too. Till you get what you want. So I'm not. Thank you for your answers. Wait.
Don't you think it's time for you to return my spare key? This your sudden and unexpected visit is becoming annoying. <laughs> what? I don't know why she's she's so stubborn. She just enjoys getting on my nerve. Hey, did someone piss you off? Yeah, some girl that I'm trying I'm giving to... you tough time, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny. Just mind your business, okay? Are you serious? I mean, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> I never thought I would see this day. I mean, I never thought that a girl in this world can actually break your heart. I mean, give you tough time. Our golden boy. Oh? Huh? <laughs> oh my God. So our golden boy can be this humble. <laughs> oh my god. Oh please, bro. Um what uh what do we have for dinner? Hmm? You didn't cook today? Don't tell me you wanna take out your frustration on me. Because I'm not ready for that. Okay? Uh -huh. Look at him. Listen, rejection is not such a big deal, bro. Huh? We'll get bang one. Lollipop, Mungwa. Udara Michel Mungwa. Please go and prepare something for us to eat, <laughs> Mr. Handsome. Good for you, bro. <laughs> okay. I don't understand you anymore, Lisa. I thought you hated this guy. And now you're going on lunch dates with him. I mean, uh, it was just lunch, a harmless one at that. Still. <sighs> I don't like this guy. From his looks to his attitude and for all he did to you those years. That guy is going to hurt you. I'm just looking out for you. I'm fine. Okay? I'm serious. Okay, from lunch to gifts, what's next? Hmm? Wedding bells? Don't be silly, man. Look, I'm serious. Okay, I know men like this guy. First of all, he does not deserve your time. I know men like him. They hide under, under his money and next thing he will be exhibiting um, behaviors of narcissism. Look, Lisa, that guy is going to hurt you. Obina, he's not going to hurt me. Okay? If that's what you're scared of. Okay. Then tell him. Tell him you know who he is. Tell him what he did to you those years. Oh, God. Why should I do that? For what games? I'm no longer that loser, so... You've never been a loser. He was the one that sold you that idea in the first place. And now he wants what? To sit on the same table with you. Lisa. I need to get some time upstairs. That guy is going to hurt you. Something about you, girl, where they're just so amazing. Yeah, you've got a special something where they make me lose my mind. I wanna know what I can do to make you mine. 
my hello can't you see in the funny in the fun now i'm trapped in your web oh girl every night every morning every evening yeah. too. you've got that special something where they make me lose my mind i wanna know what i can do to make you mine Baby, please come closer, 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 closer. I just wanna know, I yeah. just wanna know, I yeah. just wanna know, yeah. baby, baby. baby. is captivating got a hold on me girl okay, it okay, feels okay. like magic yeah. you can't deny this feeling no, no, no. the way i'm stuck on you you mm -hmm. cast a spell on me i just, just cannot, cannot deny it. it and that's why i am calling i am calling girl baby. you've got that special something where they make me lose my mind I wanna know what I can do to make you mine. Yeah. Girl, you've got that special something where they make me lose my mind. I wanna know what I, I can do baby. to make you mine. Yeah. Baby, please come closer, 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 closer. Trouble in paradise. What oh, paradise? You're yeah, not taking his calls. <sighs> I don't feel like talking. Can we talk about something else? Okay, fine. So, how about you tell me what I missed when I traveled? Well, nothing interesting happened. It's just walk. Oh, come on, don't give me that. Say something. Stop! I me. said nothing happened. Say something! Stop! Oh. Okay, fine. All right, uh -huh. wait, let me remember. Um, you just want to escape this. Stop! Stop! Is this not that guy's car? Yeah, I think so, sir. It's early in the morning. What is he doing here? Is it not too early to be paying someone a visit? It's early in the morning and we're here to see someone. Shut up your mouth. It's not the same thing. It's not? Maybe we should go and come back later. Why don't you go there and make yourself useful? Knock on the door. Do something. All right, so I'll go and knock. Smart ass. Hi. What are, what are both of you doing here? Why are you still sleeping? It's Sunday, and I'm sleeping on Sundays. I offered for us to come back. Shut up and go to the car. All right, sir. Why are you ruining my sleep routine? I called you yesterday. You didn't pick or return any of my calls. Okay, wasn't that clear enough? I had my reasons for calling. I didn't pick your call because I didn't feel like it. Fine. Can I at least come inside? No. Why are you being so stubborn? Are you still upset about the restaurant? What exactly do you want? What do you want? Listen, leave me alone, okay? What does he want this time? I don't know. I don't know. He just acts like a crazy person. He still sends you gifts? No. Okay, I noticed you weren't picking his calls yesterday. Are you guys fighting? Why would I fight with a client? You went out for lunch with him. 
Yes, that was once. I, I don't understand. What's with you, though? Don't you agree he does the most as a client? He calls you anytime. He sends you gifts. And he even visits anytime he likes. He acts more like a boyfriend. Well, you can date him. He's not my type. Things would have been worse, Stephanie. Your boss is crazy. Is he bipolar or what? He's not really a bad person, you know. Greg, you think you can fool me? Please. What's funny? I know you like him too. Like who? See you, miss. I have to go. What is wrong with him? Cynthia, yes, ma'am. Come take these things. said you want to do everything with me and I asked and also sleep with me what are you talking about why don't you just say what's on your mind what's with this whole thing the gifts lunch dinner you showing up very early at my house are you trying to sleep with me no I'm trying to get you to go out with me You're trying to get me to go out with you. Yes. What's wrong with that? Don't you like me? If you don't want me, just say it and I'll never bother you again. Is, is that a threat? I'm a very straightforward person. When I see something I want, I do my best to go for it. And something is not meant for me. I don't make myself available for it. I want you. And I want you to go out with me. We should eat before it gets cold. What is it with you? Is it that you like stubborn girls or you like them tough? I like you. You being stubborn just makes the chase interesting. Lubina. What happened? 
my house. Okay, okay, I'll be there soon. Please, I have to go. Everything okay? Yeah. Thank um, you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you outside. Ah. Hi. He took me out for dinner. Dinner? With him? And what's wrong with that? You can't eat alone. Obina, enough. What happened? You sounded worried. Well, yeah. I was parked at the corner and one guy just drove straight into me. What do you mean drove straight into you? Was he drunk or something? I don't know. So what are you doing here? Is this a police station? Edwin, you know? that's okay. Were you hot? Yes. A little. Come to where? I need where to is talk it? to you. Um, Edwin, I'll be back, okay? Uh, don't worry, I'll be I'll be here, okay? Take your time. What is it? Wait, I don't get it. What's going on between you guys? What do you mean, what's going on? We just went out for a friendly dinner. Ah, I thought we hated this guy. What do you mean hated him? That's a strong word. Okay? Yeah. Everything that happened was in the past. Lisa, are you making excuses for this guy? For what he did to you in the past? In the past! You should let it go. Okay? We should concentrate on you. Are you okay? Is there anything you want me to do? No. The hospital already worked on my dislocated shoulder. Fine. You're sure you're fine? Yes, I'm fine. <sighs> you really got me scared. Um, Edwin is alone in the city, so I'll just go check on him. you out but I haven't gotten a response yet are you always this blunt yes I want to date you how else do you want me to say I want you and I want you to want me back I need to think about it how long though as long as I want hey don't take too long to think about it you hear me <laughs> You're funny. Yeah. Can I kiss you? What? On the cheek. Edwin. What was that for? Show off. I should get going. See you later, okay? Alright. How's your health? Ah! Have you lost it? What is wrong with you? Are you blind, Lisa? Are you blind that you cannot see how much I love you? What are you talking about? I'm talking about him. Edward, Edwin, whatever he calls himself. Is he better than me? 
Obina, what are you saying? What is wrong with you? You go on dates with him. He buys you gifts. He calls you every time and now you're kissing him. What are you going to do next? Are you going to date him? Yes, I'm going to date him. What is wrong with that? Why him? Because I love him. Yes, I have always loved Edwin. I had a crush on him back then in school. Why do you think I hate him so much? Why? That's because I love him and pretending to hate him was the best because I couldn't have him. I understand you, Obina. Yes, Edwin bullied me back then in school, but he's not that person anymore. At least not since I met him. He's just a gentleman trying to woo me. And what am I? My friend. Why am I just a friend? Why? Obina, I love you. Okay? But I don't just have that kind of feelings for you. You're like a brother to me, someone I can tell everything and anything. I beg you, please don't ruin what you have. Well, then go ahead. Tell him. Tell him how much of a bully he was back then in secondary school. How much of a pain he was to you and how much he cost you. Tell him how he drove you out of school and how he made you lose your self-esteem, your self-confidence. Tell him! Can you just let this rest? I am not that person anymore. That's my point exactly! Can't you see it? That's my point! Now you're, you're repackaged, you're beautiful, you're, you're successful, you're something every man would, would want and all of a sudden the same jerk who couldn't stand to, to look in the same direction as you all of a sudden wants you for himself. Come on, go ahead. Tell him. Tell him that you're the same person. That you're the same nerdy, four-eyed glasses, grandma glasses person, in, classmate of his. Tell him. Tell him and let's see what he thinks of you. Tell him how, how he feels about that. Fine, Obina. So if my revelations doesn't change anything, are you going to step back and we continue to be friends? No. I'm sorry, but I, there's no way I can't be best friends with you anymore, Lisa. I mean, we're not going to be enemies, but I can't. You know. That guy, Edwin. I get so jealous whenever I see that guy. I can't stand to compete with him. And now he was your first love? How do I compete with that? I'm sorry, Lisa, but the best I can do is to love you from afar. Think that I'm crazy, but there is something about you, girl. Where they're just so amazing. Yeah, you've got a special something where they make me lose my mind. I wanna know what I can do to make you mine. Mine. Hello, can't you see enough on me? Enough on me. I won't trap to your web, oh girl. Every night, every morning. Hi. Hi. We need to talk. Okay. In private. Right. Upstairs.
Wait. This you is... don't remember me, do you? Were you? Four eyes. Bat eyes. Blind bat in yours. Does it ring a bell? You are that? Ugly blind girl. indeed. I'm sure you don't even know my name. My real name. You called me all sorts of names. You know, when your secretary came to me for an outfit and I recognized you, I felt like slapping you so bad. For the pain you cost me. Lisa, I, I don't know what to say. <sighs> Other than I'm sorry. Adrian, thinking about this whole thing, I actually feel angry. You were so mean. You bullied me, Edwin. I had to beg my dad to transfer me to another school. I'm sure you didn't even notice I was out. Did you notice I didn't graduate with you guys? <sighs> of course you won't. You probably moved to the next fun project. Lisa, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve any of those things that my friends and I did to you. I don't even know how to apologize, I'm sorry. Why don't you start by telling me how you feel about me? In all honesty. I love you. I really love you, Lisa. I love you too. Hello, I know you think that I'm crazy, but there is something about you, girl, where they're just so amazing. Yeah, you've got a special something where they make me lose my mind. I want to know what I can do to make you mine. Mine. Hello. Can't you see in the funny, in the funny? Now I'm trapped in your web, oh girl. Every night, every morning, every evening. You've got that special something where they make me lose my mind. I wanna know what I can do. <laughs> hey, wipe that silly smile off your face. Stop it. Let him be. Why do you like to bully him? Babe. I'm not bullying him. You are, sir. What? You are. <laughs> you like to bully the boy. You need to stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, why don't you um why don't you stay? Spend the night here. And a face D? What's wrong with that? No. I don't plan on making it easy for you. What? Wait, 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 what? It took you a month to make me a suit. Mm -hmm. And it took you one week to agree to go out on a date with me. Mm -hmm. And now you're saying that... Because I'm not an easy girl. Well, I don't like easy girls. Okay. <laughs> Every night, every morning, 
I love you, my stubborn girlfriend. I love you too, my arrogant Say 